What's up guys, Saif here. Uh, I just logged on to the test center and I'm going to show a little tutorial and show you a little bit of the new UI changes and some of the editor and some of the functions. Overall, really good job with the editor. It's a step in the right direction. I think most people will be happy with it. It's uh, not quite as detailed as like if you're familiar with like a bartender or some kind of wow edition, uh, but it's definitely what we needed and a step in the right direction. The first thing you'll notice different is you'll have this little key down here that will actually open up a customization window. They have a couple of defaults in here. They have the retro look, which is kind of like more of the old Star Wars Galaxy, you know, uh, target, and then your target. It uh, it's pretty cool, uh, you know, if, especially if you're used to playing like that. Another thing I noticed this is now each class or each character even out in the world when you're selecting other players they have the symbol of what class they are I'm not sure if I like this or not kind of seems a little simplified and why do we need to know that stuff if you're halfway decent you would you know, know that that guy's a sniper because he's behind a shield why do I need to see that and I haven't looked to see if I could turn that off but I really don't like it and kinda of want it gone um, the default of course is just standard extended quick slots and this is basically uh, you know what we're playing with now but so besides that a little cleaner look uh, around the you know the frames uh, pretty much standard you have a couple other options uh, you can actually open the interface and this is going to bring up a massive window that basically everything is movable um, and at first I thought you know this was the only size reduction that you could have in this system because you could you know basically shrink everything down but you can actually go in and uh, basically select your frame and uh, this is another cool thing you can do you can actually hide these other elements a lot of these are for space uh, you know a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that you you know you never really notice or don't use enough to actually have it uh, you know resize it but I guess you could if you wanted to uh, so I hide that just to make it simpler but uh, how you can actually select the different frames so I select my health bar say and you can adjust the scale individually and say I want my enemy health bar to be larger than my health bar you can do that um, so you can actually go in and adjust things individual uh, which is really nice to actually did this you can adjust the um, let's see here transparency basically uh, which is nice uh, so you can fade different things if you don't want it really visible or be in your way like a cast bar or something like that um, so you can go in and adjust the individuals of each piece it's really simple um, basically just read the you know the scales the different options and it says exactly what it's going to be doing the biggest thing with this I've noticed is you'll start editing something and you'll think you have like your health bar selected but you'll actually be scaling something else and you'll screw everything up but you can hit cancel and basically it goes back to uh, you know where it was to start with so that's really not a big issue if you screw up you can always start back at the default or the expanded toolbar setup and then on top of that you can also save preset uh, you know your setups uh, so I have this one already preset I can do set it I hit default and it goes to actually it did not do that let me get this to work and it's actually not gonna do it because I believe I forgot to save it no there it goes Alright, so you actually have to click on your 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 frame right there to get it to work. Um, so this is actually my def, uh, you know, what I came up with, and you can actually rename it uh, UI one, and then you know you can hit save. So now this is UI one, and then I have Cyph one, which is if you start editing anything, it basically says your name, your name of your character, and saves it. Uh, so I'm going to go back to that one. And then let's say I want to adjust this quick slot bar here. I'm going to actually make this a little bit more transparent uh, so I always don't have to look at my buffs and general stuff like that that I don't use a lot. So we're going to put it about 25. And of course, if you hit save, it saves it to UI1, exit out. Then you have a real nice transparent little box down there. 
and of course I hotkey all this so you know my heal and all my buffs are hotkeyed so I really don't need to you know see that stuff um, but I know it's there so it's really nice you can adjust different uh, you know adjust different bars to do different things and uh, I'll actually show you all how I got these bars to stack up like this I'm gonna go back to Scythe 1 open up the interface um, I'm actually going to go back to the extended quick bar. Let's see, you can hit load interface, and that's how you do it. I had got a little confused right there. So I, even I got confused. Uh, I've done this a lot, and I'm still, um, you know, still catches me off a little bit. But uh, that's how you load the basic. You're basically different setups. Like if you have a, a PvP setup or a, you know stuff you know how you have it set up for PvP like if you have a bunch of PvP abilities uh, throw them on one of the bars that you don't use and then you can move that bar to a better position when you're PvPing put your PvE buffs on another bar and you can save uh, you know PvP versus PvE which is really nice you're gonna have different different layouts for different circumstances and what you're doing if you're questing you want to see your companion bar right there or if you're doing something else, you know, you don't want to see that companion bar. So we're going to load back the extended and then show you how to resize these bars. Alright, so basically you have a couple options with these side bars now. Of course you can resize it and adjust the transparency. The other thing is you can actually f flip the, uh, you know, slots per row and what this does is basically it'll make the bar change from horizontal to vertical or make it a four box which is really nice um, you know so you have a lot of customization with these sidebars that we previously didn't so basically we can throw the sidebar in the middle select quick slot bar 2 resize that and I'll get the so I had that at 0.7 I'll do this one 0.7 drag that up I wish there was an auto locking feature. Uh, there's not really one. You just have to line it up as best you can, which I guess is not that big of a deal. And then we'll take our main bar, resize it to 0.7, and we'll position it. Uh, but the cool thing is when you select stuff, it actually shows you what that is. It highlights it right there. Player cast bar. Um, I'm gonna move these health bars just out of the way for now. Um, we're gonna position this in the center. So basically, that's how I got the three bars down there. And then whatever I want to save this, we're gonna say this. Uh, you know, three bars. Save the current one, and there it is. So we'll go back to our one, load that one. That's I already had resized all the uh, frames and everything on that one. Um, so really, there's a lot of customization here. Um, I mean, you can adjust your mission tracker. You can throw your map down to the bottom. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. So. Um, you know this is really a step in the right direction far as I'm concerned like with the UI uh, hopefully they keep adding on to this if they make do a really good job which they did with this editor and they keep expanding on it uh, I see really no need for uh, add-ons in the game uh, if they can you know if they have a team set up to do the certain things that everybody's looking for they shouldn't be a problem as long as they just don't push it off and never work on it like I really want some kind of proc effects on my screen when certain buffs I get so I'm not just staring at my buff bar that's another kind of add-on thing that I would want out of user interface um, so this editor is really easy to use you can basically adjust anything you want to it's really cool how you can select individual items and rescale them the saving feature is nice um, so you can you know particularly that main bar right there I don't need it large I can go smaller and make it a little bit transparent we'll save that UI 1 and now you have a nice faded look with this nice faded with my bus my map and everything is down there 
so so far uh, so good like I like everything I see with this editor really easy to use um, we'll go into some of the other things I noticed go into user interface this is a new thing right here that I've never seen right here um, suppress crew mission rewards and war zones I'm not sure how long this has been in here I'm not sure I'm pretty sure it's not in live but I just noticed that I've, I've never seen it before uh, so that's cool uh, a lot of new little features in here with nameplates they've reworked everything a little bit uh, the combat log uh, I haven't really done a lot of practice with this um, but I'll definitely give you guys an update on the combat log and a little guide how to use it uh, here shortly. But that's pretty much going to do it for the user interface. Uh, really easy to use and I'm really looking forward to this going on the live and being able to make different layouts for my PvP setups. Uh, you know, PvE, raiding. Uh, you can pretty much adjust everything and I think it's going to be a nice fit for most people and being able to fix your UI how you want it to be. I'll talk to you guys later.